Hey, welcome back to Russian Labs Gaming. Uh, we got a really quick one for you today. The recent state of play with Ratchet and Clank A Rift Apart came out, um, I think it was yesterday or earlier this week. It took me a little bit to get around to it. I've been busy with some other stuff, but I definitely wanted to react to this. This is the first reaction video that I've done. Um, I know that this is something that happens a lot on YouTube, but I didn't really get it, but I'm just so excited for this one. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, this is one of the titles that now that I actually have a PS5, I haven't shared too much of that on this channel yet, but now that I have a PS5, I've pre-ordered Ratchet and Clank or the new, the new Ratchet and Clank. I'm also excited for Horizon Zero Dawn, hopefully coming out later this year, but this is a big one that I've been, um, that I've been excited for. I've been playing Ratchet and Clank ever since the original came out way back in, I think it was like 2002, 2003 on the original PS2. Um, so yeah, this is an exciting one. Let's go ahead, jump in, watch it together. Cool. Oh, wow. This is captured on PS5. It's crazy that the consoles are getting that frustrated. Who is that? No. Okay, so the first thing that jumps out to me, and I know that's Rivet. I don't. I wonder who's in this giant kind of semi centipede flying scorpion thing. But the first thing that jumps out to me is if that that looks like that's going to be a boss battle, probably like middle of the game or something. But that is a huge. Uh, boss character or, or boss fight or whatever so i wonder if insomniac is pulling on a lot of the inspiration from santa monica from santa monica studios with the god of war series with kind of like the larger than life boss fights i want i that would be amazing for the ratchet and clank games i really hope that they included um something like that <laughs> I'm Marcus Smith, creative director of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a brand new full-length Ratchet & Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 console. Today we're going to introduce you to some of the gameplay, characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. Whether you've played every game since Ratchet & Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. Oh. Oh man, Clank? right off the bat, just look at those Clank? light reflections, all the lighting. Ah. I really hope that that's real-time ray tracing. Bombax? What is this place? Immediately, like, look at the detail in his fur on his face. That's crazy. Where are nice, you, Clank? they've updated the Maybe UI. someone around here has seen him. Have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? Uh, green eyes, red antenna, very charming. Okay, that's a lot more detail in the explosion from the boxes. Ratchet has been separated to previous from his best friend and partner Clank, and is now in a new dimension and a mysterious urban sprawl called Nefarious City. <laughs> I really like what they've done with the UI. Please let there be good news behind here. Ratchet quickly finds out that in this dimension, Dr. Nefarious is a much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please remember to thank our marvelous Okay, I don't know. I've, I've always enjoyed seeing the, the worlds that Ratchet and Clank, are, or the worlds that are created for Ratchet and Clank and their universe and whether it's planet hopping or going to something. And sometimes when the, when you first drop off on a new planet, you'll get that brand new Vista where you haven't even started to move yet. But this immediately just jumps out to me as the crazy amount of detail that they've thrown into this. Even if it's for just the, this little kind of cinematic Vista that moment that's happening, that's amazing. I, I, 
Insomniac has been chasing this Pixar level quality or, or kind of like this interactive almost like pseudo Pixar play as a Pixar movie that I'm trying to say. Um, they've been chasing that for so long now. And I think that they're, gosh, if this, if this isn't it, I, I don't know how much closer to, to get before calling it that. This is amazing. Emperor, Dory, and after making your purchase. Emperor? Does that mean there are two nefariouses now? Plank <laughs> first. Various lakes. Maybe he's in this bazaar. Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds in Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Cities are full of life with traffic and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. I wonder what that Ratchet comes across Miss Zircon, the weapon vendor in Rift Apart. Wait a second. You've got your order. Well, come right in. <laughs> Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous, or the resistance will not last. The resistance? Oh, apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still new to all of this espionage. It's funny how in the, I guess the, the regular universe, Mr. Zircon is this kind of like this snarky rogue or semi rogue, um, soldier robot that doesn't fly too far away from you, but always has something crazy to say. And even when you upgrade the weapons and I forget which game it was, you start getting the family of Zircons. And then now Miss Zircon is is still kind of had the has this ulterior personality um and is doing this rogue behavior and it's all revolving around kind of espionage and weapons and that that that's funny i i, I like that clank has been taken by a mysterious new lombax named rivet clank <laughs> After that ship, how can I get off planet? Listen, Tess, only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. Yeah. No. Phantom can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh, 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 oh. This is so exciting. Secret Agent Club Zircon. Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. A little play at Secret Agent Clank, maybe. Interesting. Oh, cool. So we're still playing with Veritanium, even though it's a new, uh, a new dimension. So that sounds like a club, all right. Come on, Phantom, where are you? Once Ratchet finds Phantom. He learns a couple of new moves. That's really cool. So I know that you've had like the Magna Boots before where you could walk, you know, on the walls and upside down, but it was only on paths. There's just like this is only on like specific pads on a wall, but I don't know if you were able to move quite that quickly. That's really cool. I really hope that we get to see new battle mechanics and new or new fight mechanics um, along with that. That's one of the things that I really thought was, has been missing from the series for a long time is that the Magda boots were, were introduced, I want to say in like the very first game. So they've been around a while, but I really feel like an opportunity has been missed and not incorporating more combat with, with the, um, with the, with the Magna boots. Um, and I think one of the offshoot games on the PS4, maybe, 
or maybe it was on the tail end of the PS3 era, um, there was a little bit of kind of like playing around with like a gravity driven combat mechanic. But this looks cool. There's promise here. I really hope that it sticks around. That move too. The one where he kind of like pushed forward. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased nice. mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse levels. This focus on mobility allows players to chain moves together to create exhilarating combat. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now let's jump into combat. Nefarious days, Mom. If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack Nefarious' propaganda blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. Looks easy enough. Interesting. This is punishment. Dashing allows you to evade attacks or gain strategic advantages. Enemies can't hit what doesn't momentarily exist. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm excited Dimensional for this. Dimensional tears in the world allow you to use the Rift Tether, another new traversal mechanic to instantly pull yourself across battlefields to escape or flank enemies. Weapons in Rift Apart utilize the power of the DualSense wireless controllers, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback to allow players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the burst pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. But pulling the trigger fully unleashes a rapid fire spread that covers more area. In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with them. Okay, that's really cool. And I hope that it actually works just as well as what he was describing. Um, having played with the the new DualSense controller a little bit in Astro's Playroom, I I was definitely blown away by the haptics and the feedback and the like kind of the adaptive triggers. Um, it's it, it's weird. Like I've never I've never played with anything like that before. Not not with controllers and everything. And I know it's I know it's brand new, but still. But this is Ratchet and Clank has for a long time been what seeming is kind of seeming like a simple game. This seems like they're adding new levels of depth to the gameplay, and that is that's exciting. But I hope that it works well. I hope that it still has balance. But it's Insomniac, so I'm pretty sure that it will. With the Enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads, or pull the trigger fully and unleash both barrels with a devastating close-range attack. Wow! And Thanks you can see the that haptics. The player it's will feel showing the up. power of their shots through their hands. I don't know if you could see this, but when he had the Enforcer, you had those two lights whenever he shot one. One of the blue ones would turn to red. Feel free to, you know, kind of dial back the video for, for a minute. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and go scrub back or anything. But when he shot, the the two blue lights turned to red, or one of them turned to red. And so it's cool that they're incorporating stuff like that in the UI. I don't know if they've had character models that were detailed enough to be able to do that before. You see what I mean? You got the two red, and then it turns... Let's move ahead a little bit. Oh wow, a long wall wall ride. As Ratchet wall attempts ride. to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious juggernaut. Dang. Where did you even come from? Please stand still. That's something else I would like to see is more juggernaut type enemies. A lot of times, by the time that you get towards the end of a uh, of a ratchet during this game, fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. The the enemies can start to seem like a Thanks little bit the of power of the SSD. We can near instantly teleport players to completely different locations. This so isn't some cool. small arena being loaded, but the entire level from a different planet. And then the juggernaut follows you. Nice. This is like constant eye candy. This is exactly what I want to Let's see. Let's jump over and see what's going on with Rivet and Clank. Oh. 
As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Nice. Where are you taking me? I think a lot of us were assuming was gonna she was going to be but playable, I but it's nice to have that confirmed. Factory. Oh, she has a different UI. Nice. Rift Apart includes several alternate like dimension touch. versions of classic planets from past games. I was getting that feel that it was they were kind of trying to like bring back the classic or some of the previous some of the previous worlds. This is good. Yes. Did we mention how stunning yes. and alive our worlds are? Thanks to the power of the PS5 and the 3D audio, we've been able to create alien planets with an immersive density like never before. Let's check it out. Speedles, yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Ms. Zircon, the weapons man. Okay. It's like a speedy beetle. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, this is cool. I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. I really like this idea. In Rift of, Apart, you not, get to play with an explosive. It like the 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 weapons menu here at the or the shop menu, I guess you could say. It's not a completely different screen where your world screen gets blown away and then the the menu screen gets popped in. I really like this this design choice where Rivet the character is still on screen. You've got the shot. This is just cool. This is much more immersive. I gosh, I I know I'm gushing a lot, but this is it's one of my favorite series. I love just these little touches like this. New arsenal, as well as a few returning classics. Here's another example of how we're using the dual sense. With the topiary sprinkler, players will feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare a throw of this garden grenade. Once on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been topiaried and are ready to be trimmed down. They turned plant fertilizer into a weapon? I mean, it's definitely an interesting choice. But it's kind of cool. It appears some dimensional distortion is emanating from that cave. Uh -oh. In addition to rift tethering and dimensional shifts, there are also many pocket dimensions scattered throughout the game. And the last speedle runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove, too. Cool. All right, smarty bot. What is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard! The Mortz's helper bot! Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. No, no! Don't hide! Ah. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Well, hello there. Gotcha. Oh, dear. Maybe Maynard can lead me to the forts. That's pretty cool. Seems like it's moving a little bit slow, but still pretty cool, though. Get to ride something, kind of changes up the gameplay a little bit. Oh, never mind. It's not slow now anymore. Can get away from this acid. Come on, Maynard. Let's find the morts. Riding speedles is one way of traversing Sargasso's acid swamps, and to do so quickly. Excuse me. Look out! I got it. I got it. See? Sometimes I don't crash. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robopet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on. 
on there now. If you watched our previous gameplay demo, you may recognize the Goons for Less. This rebranded gang has been hired by Dr. Nefarious to attack Ratchet and Clank, and are now also trapped in Rivet's dimension. That's really cool that they're bringing back the Goons for Less. I, I can't remember if that's the name that they had way back in, uh, what was that? Um, up, I think it was not up your arsenal, uh, going commando. Um, yeah, that's really cool. And, um, yeah, I, I, I hope that some of that writing is coming back too. Here's another new weapon. The shatter bomb is a frag type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes. With haptic feedback, each explosion feels incredibly impactful. Nice. Wow. Where are these doofuses coming from? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. So much going on. I love it. Oh, cool. I didn't realize I wasn't expecting those to blow up. Wow, I like that gun. This is just a small taste of some of the early gameplay in Rift Apart, but there is so much more. We have open areas to explore. Oh man, are we getting to the end of it? Dimensional clank puzzles. I think we are. Glitch challenges. Arena challenges. Aerial combat. Gold bolts to collect. Nice. Pocket okay. dimensions so, to explore. A basic Ratchet and Clank game. Armor to obtain and use in the first ever Ratchet and Clank photo mode. With some extras. I like the photo mode. That's a nice touch. Cool, it looks like and it. giving oh, more people wow. access to so playing it's not our games just is a photo always mode. important to us. As such, Rift Apart will offer a slew of accessibility options. We'll reveal more about this soon. Experience Rift Apart's new planets, weapons, intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. How about that, huh? Resistance, we are These rifts are getting out of hand. On behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th. Nice. Okay. So that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, hopefully that if you if you're really excited about this game, I, I know that some people have mixed feelings about pre-orders. I feel confident enough that Insomniac is going to deliver and it's going to be fine. I, I feel confident and fine pre-ordering this game. I, I mean, like I said earlier, I already did. Um, if you don't want to, you know, buy it on launch day, that sort of that sort of thing. It's not it's not sponsored by Sony or anything like that. Um, this is just really cool. I'm really excited. I love the uh, the the fast loading that Insomniac is bringing in. I like the the enhanced visuals. It looks like there might be some ray tracing there as well. I really don't know how they get some of those detailed effects and the lighting, um, getting that stuff in there without real time ray tracing. Um, I don't know how they do it without it. And then on top of that, just all of the other changes that go into it. I'm really excited for this game. Um, if you couldn't tell, um, I'm kind of concerned that we might be seeing a continuation of the writing not being as snarky or kind of on point as what it used to be earlier in the series. I know a lot of longtime fans have have kind of knocked that ever since I think it was the 2016. Um, not not sure to call it a remake or reboot, but the just Ratchet and Clank with Drek um, that was remade for the PS4. Um, some people have said that ever since that game, or maybe a little bit later in the series, Insomniac has just kind of toned down some of the writing. And so it really kind of, you see that also play out with the storytelling and some of the kind of pushing the boundaries and being edgy and that sort of thing. Um, but either way, this looks like it's going to be an enjoyable Ratchet and Clank game, something for everybody to like. Um, and bonus, you don't have to have played all the other games to understand what's going on. Not that Ratchet and Clank is rather complex anyway. Um, anyway, so 
keep it tuned or just stay in tune. It looks like in a little bit over a month, June 11th, we should have this game coming out um, and we'll be able to play it. And hopefully I'll have a whole lot more content coming for the new Ratchet and Clank A Rift Apart. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know down below, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the other button, the dislike, the thumbs down. Um, go ahead and hit that twice. Um, either way, it's all conversation. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like the channel, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you don't like it, hit subscribe anyway and tell me why you don't like it. That's cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and we'll definitely be coming back with more content later on. And in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching.